Morning. This is Arnie Waters here, Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you're having a terrific day to start off. First, let's talk about Iran. Now, as you know, the Iranians are running training camps in Venezuela and have already established deep linkages with uh, drug cartels and criminals in Mexico. They've been actually intervening with Mexican gangs, which have connections into prisons in the United States. A Mexican television program broadcast recently uh, interviewed the Iranian ambassador to Mexico and caught her in a sting, wherein she was agreeing that she would be delighted to work with people who were launching cyber attacks on the United States from Mexico. Um, they pulled a similar stunt with the Cuban ambassador to Mexico and found the Cubans would be delighted to d work with the Iranians to create cyber attacks into the United States. Food for thought about the Iranian danger. Next in the gold area, we're holding around 1745 uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, remember, money supply worldwide continues to expand. Indeed, it was up 8% year to year or four trillion dollars. And part of the factor in that was the Chinese had a record uh, M2 increase. So what this tells us is loosening money supply means loosening money, which of course raises the specter of serious inflation. The amount of gold in private hands, particularly in China, has increased dramatically as China now permits gold accounts. So the effective gold price uh, in China has been affected in a positive way, uh, but in, the, in India it's been affected in a negative way. From July through November, Indian gold prices uh, denominated in rupees went up 35 percent, and this is considered a big factor in the dramatic fall off of Indian <coughs> uh, gold purchases. Uh, keep in mind though that going forward Chinese and Indian personal incomes are rising, not in any level that would threaten any Western democracy in terms of success, but relative to where they've been, which is uh, pretty awful. Our last comment has to do with the Chinese retail sector. The number one performing area of Chinese retail was gold and silver jewelry. Gold and silver jewelry was the best performing sector in China. So there's a lot of external support for things that are going on in gold. We expect gold to be very strong in here. We encouraged you a couple of weeks ago to add 10 to 20 percent to your portfolio. We're sticking with that viewpoint, uh, holding on to our, our, our gold projection of 2450 for the end of the year. We're giving some thought to ch looking, taking a different look at the U.S. stock market and perhaps coming to a slightly more positive viewpoint than our previous S&P forecast. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.